Yes, hi children. How are you all? Hmm? All are good, fine, isn't it? Yes, very good. Children, um, we learned about uh, uh, different kinds of birds, isn't it? Uh, birds, the way they build the nest. Hmm? Different birds build varieties of, uh, different varieties of nest uh, for them to live, to raise the young ones. Isn't it? We learned about that. Hmm? Uh, example like uh, tailor bird. The way it stitches the leaves and uh, building the nest, tailor bird, then woodpecker, the parrots, crow, pigeon, partridge, etc. Different kinds of birds building different kinds of nest that we already learned. So we are surrounded by many birds, isn't it? Crow, pigeon, duck, chicken, parrot, mm? uh, then uh, eagle, owl, vulture, etc. Et there are many birds around us. Mm? Most of them, they have wings, they fly, birds fly with the help of the wings that we know. They build different kinds of nest that we know. Have you ever noticed uh, the way they eat food? The way they catch the prey or the, catch the other insects or other animals and eating. Have you ever noticed that? How, the way they eat food? How they eat food? Do you know? Do they have teeth? Do birds have teeth to eat food like us? No, birds do not have teeth. Instead, they have beaks and claws. So today we are going to learn about birds, beaks and claws. Okay, beaks and claws. The way using this beaks and claws. They eat food. Lesson number 16. Beaks and claws of birds. Using beaks, huh, they tear the food, they crush it or they chew it. And claws they use to catch the prey, the other insects or other, the, uh, they hunt or uh, to eat, to catch the food. Huh? Or to other insects they use claws and beaks they use to tear the food, to crush the food or to chew the food etc. So they do not have teeth. Birds do not have teeth. They use beaks and claws huh, to eat food, to catch the insects, the flesh of other animals we say. Hmm? So uh, today we are going to learn the different ways of eating food by different birds because each bird they have different claws and different beaks. All the birds do not have the same kind of beaks. Or same kind of clothes. Huh? It's different for different birds. So today we learn how it is different from other different and the way they eat and chew food. So birds. So today we are going to learn about birds, beaks and clothes. Okay. Lesson 16. Birds, beaks and clothes. Let's learn about beaks. Beaks, multi-purpose tools, feet and claws. Here two children, Ratika and Mihikya, they are telling something. Let's see what they are telling. Hi Ratika, do you know the birds do not, not, ha do not have teeth? Then how do they eat the food? Do you know before that, you know about the birds, how do they eat food? They do not have teeth. Yes, Mika, the beaks help them eat food and hold things. So Radhika knows birds do not have teeth. The beaks are helping them to eat and hold the food and all. Yes, so beaks. Birds do not have teeth. First of all, you should know that birds do not have any teeth at all. They have a beak. They have a beak. The beaks are also called bills. These beaks. It is also called bills, B-I-L-L-S, bills. A bird uses its beak to feed itself. A bird uses this beak to eat itself, to eat food by itself. Thus, beak of a bird that eats nuts differs from the beak of a bird that eats flesh. So there are birds that eat nuts and there are birds that eat the flesh of other animals like Carnivorous birds, we can say, eating the flesh of other animals. So birds, uh, birds eat nuts, birds eat flesh. 
both the birds have different kinds of beaks to eat the food so birds do not have teeth they have beaks we say or beaks also known as bills b e a k s beaks it is also called bills b i l l s bills beaks helps the bird to eat food and different birds have different beaks there are birds that eat nuts there are birds that eat flesh of other animals so different these kinds of birds have different kinds of beaks to eat so now we learn about the beaks of different birds here in the table given below it tells about different types of beaks and their uses so here you can see the image children beak first image beak shape picture type and use birds so they have given the name of the bird who have this kind of beak which kind of beak beak shape is hooked hooked shape of beak hooked beak which bird has this beak see the picture here yes that uh, example of birds they have given us owls eagles vultures and hawks these kind of birds have hooked beak okay hooked means how it, it will be strong sharp and hooked beak bites the the beak is so strong you can see the image of that bird given there it is yes strong so strong and sharp it is called hooked beak bites and tears the prey into small pieces it, this beak bite and tears it breaks the prey prey means what the flesh of other animals huh? into small pieces so these beaks help them tear flesh of other animals like these birds eat snakes rats and all so to tear them to break them into pieces they use these hooked beak so you can see the picture of a bird having that hooked beak the hooked beak we say hmm? and which type of birds have this beaks owls eagles vultures hawks huh? owls eagles owls eagles vultures then hawks these birds all have hooked beak hmm these birds all have hooked beak so they use this beak to tear the prey or catch the prey prey means animal that is hunted okay or killed for food hmm huh? animals that is hunted and killed for food is prey p r e y so there's owls eagles vultures hawks they have hooked beaks with this beak they bite or tear the food in or break the food into small small pieces and they eat second image you can see an ima image the the shape of the beak is spear shaped spear spear shaped it's a kind uh, of a kind of a leaf shape we can say spear shape means a kind of a leaf shape it's long sharp and pointed beak helps to spear fish hmm spear fish pointed tip will be to pick something huh see you can see the image the the uh, the beak of that image you see it's a pointed one long and sharp and pointed using that they can pick also that's why that is the meaning of spear shaped spear shaped leaf shaped spear to pick fish huh? kingfishers herons these are the examples of birds having spear shaped beaks kingfisher herons these birds have spear shaped beaks spear shaped a leaf shape huh? or this this shape help beaks helps them to pick or to spear huh? fish so kingfisher herons they eat fishes okay 
Yes. So, birds do not have teeth. They have beaks and claws. And beaks help them to tear the food or break the food into pieces or chew the food. So, different birds have different beaks. First, we learned about hooked beak. Hooked is a long, strong, sharp beak. Helps the birds to catch the prey and eat it, chew it. And vowels, eagles, vultures, hawks. Owls, eagles, vultures, hawks are the different kinds of birds that have, that have hooked beaks. Mm? Next comes spear-shaped beak. Mm? Kingfisher herons have spear-shaped beak. A kind of beak that has a leaf shape or we can say it's a long sharp pointed, uh, uh, pointed beak. It's helped them to pick the fish or pick the things that they wanted to eat. It helps them to tear it, break into pieces. Okay. So we learned about hooked beak. We learned about spear shaped beak. Okay children. So children, we learned about, uh, we are learning about different kinds of beaks of birds. So we learned about hooked beaks and hooked, hooked, hooked beaks. It's a kind of strong, sharp beak bites and tears the food into pieces. Huh? And uh, owls, eagles, vultures, hawks are examples of birds that having hooked beaks. And in the image, given the uh, they have given the image of an eagle eagle beak they have shown the okay hooked beak and next we learned about spear shaped beak spear shaped it, um, shape of a leaf i said and there you can see the image of a bird and example kingfishers herons have this spear shaped beak and heron image they have shown the heron image of beak that helps a pointed beak long sharp pointed beak helps them to spear the fish next strainer strainer so another shape strainer we say strainer strainer let's see what is strainer strong and flat beak with strainers all along the edges allows water and mud to go out through it strainer you, you know strainer means strain something means to sieve something in the kitchen and all we can see when uh, your mother takes tea after preparing tea she sieves it to another cup isn't it sieving to strain it we'll say isn't it so that is a strainer we say so like means it has some holes inside so that the other particles will settle there and we get the liquid isn't it strainer so same way this uh, birds like ducks and swans example ducks swans swans okay and here you can see that sample of a swan uh, beak huh? strong and flat the beak is strong and flat with strainers on the edge you can see small small holes why to allow the water and mud to go through it. Uh, it. It helps them to remove or mud and water. So strainer type of beaks for ducks and swans. You can see the image of swan beak there. Okay. It's, it's, a, kind, it's a kind of uh, in kitchen we can see that strainer is a spoon shaped uh, utensil. It is to strain liquids we use strainer in kitchen here the same way strainer beak means some holes they meant actually to allow the uh, mud and water to go through it for that purpose uh, this beak has the, the beak is the like strong and flat beak with strainer next chisel shaped another shaped beak is chisel shaped we say chisel shaped beak actually chisel you know it's actually a tool uh, we use to cut the materials or oh, cut uh, for cutting we use cutting wood the stone uh, uh, for that purpose we use this tool chisel uh, okay people use to cut it 
uh, carpenters use that like a blade and knife it is to cut the wood metals and all okay chisel shaped beak example woodpecker you can see there we learned how woodpecker is making its nest by making a hole in the trunk of the tree using its beak so it has a long and slender beak slender beak or why slender it's so thin it will be actually slender means to suck the nectars from the flowers they have slender beaks we say to suck the juice of the flowers they use this kind of beak that kind of beaks are called slender beaks actually so woodpeckers as long and slender beak tapering at the tip mm? tapering at the tip tip it is so narrow we say narrow thinner helps to make holes and catch insects in the tree trunks in the tree trunks they uh, make the hole and they make the nest the same time some small small insects will be there to um, to catch those insects they use this kind of beak this uh, the slender beak or oh, tapering at the tip so thin will be at the tip okay they use this beak to catch insects and they eat so woodpecker has chisel shaped beak we say example for chisel shaped beak is woodpecker a long pointed beak tapering at the end or tip so we learned about four types of beaks now we love birds have uh, beaks to catch the prey or to eat the food they do not have teeth so different birds have different kinds of beaks we learned about hooked beak first hooked beak hmm? owls eagles they all have hooked beaks owls eagles vultures hawks they all have hooked beak to catch the prey or to catch the animals to eat they break it into pieces and they eat then spear shaped beak we learned about spear shaped a kind of leaf shape to spear the fish huh this birds use it kingfisher herons they are the example of spear shaped beak heron example they have shown there in the in the image isn't it then we learned about strainer beaks ducks swans they have strainer types of beak they have some holes at the edge which allows the water and mud to go through it hmm? the image they have shown swans beak they have shown the strainer beak then we learned about chisel shaped beak chisel shaped beak example woodpecker woodpecker bird has chisel shaped beak long a pointed and tapering at the tip to make hole in the tree trunk at the same time small insects to catch small insects they use these chisel shaped beak okay yes now coming to the next beak tweezer shaped tweezer what do you mean by tweezer shaped beak tweezer long and thin beak helps to pull out insects from the holes in the ground in the ground holes are there from inside the holes this beaks of these birds helps them to pull out the insects from the holes in the ground example hoopoos and warblers hmm? hoopoos hoopoos warblers are the birds that have tweezer shaped beaks hmm? hoopoos and warblers have tweezer shaped beak we say tweezer shaped huh? it's a long see the image you can see the image of a hoopoe bird there hoopoe bird beak long very long thin long and thin beak which helps them to pull out the insects from the holes in the ground hoopoes and warblers have this kind of tweezer shaped beaks you can see the image of hoopoe birds beak there okay next crackers 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 you know we in diwali and we used to uh, use this crackers isn't it yes crackers but this is not that cracker it this is a kind of beak where the sparrows and peacock have 
short thick conical beaks helps to break and crush seeds very beak is very short it is not so long very short beak but so thick short and thick and conical shape conical shape like this conical shape uh, helps them to break and crush the seeds means tear the break into pieces to break the seeds they use this short thick shaped beak called crackers example peacock peacock sparrows they have crackers type of beak very short but so thick beak huh? to crush the nuts or uh, the seeds we say last one prob prob shaped beak which birds have these shaped beak hummingbirds hummingbirds have prob shaped beaks it's long and slender slender means so thin straw like beak straw you use straw to drink juice so straw type of beak it's long and slender beak helps to suck nectar from flowers i told you earlier also slender beaks are beaks to suck the juice or nectar from flowers so hummingbirds have probe shaped beaks it's long and slender beaks a thin long and so thin like a straw it helps them to suck the nectar or juice the sweet liquid from flowers okay children so these are the different kinds of beaks for different birds which helps them to bite to chew tear into the food into small pieces and helps them to eat yes children so we know we know birds do not have teeth they have beaks which helps them to eat the food so we learned about different types of beaks isn't it yes first we learned about hooked beaks huh? so hooked beaks means strong sharp and hooked beak means it helps them to bite the food and tears the prey into small pieces and owls eagles vultures hawks they have these kind of hooked beaks and hooked beak on image they have shown here hooked beak of an eagle uh, eagle has hooked beak which help them to bite and tear the food into pieces okay next we learned about spear shaped beak spear shaped a kind of leaf shape which helps them to pick the fish uh, to eat mm? examples kingfisher heron are the examples for spear shaped beaks here the uh, beak they have shown is of here heron heron birds beak they have shown there okay now next comes strainer strainer type of beak mm? ducks swans have strainer type of beaks here example they have shown a swan uh, strainer beak huh? why it is called strainer beak it is strong and flat beak and there is a strainer at the end like some small holes we can see at the end of the of this edge huh? of the beak which allows water and mud to go through it huh? for ducks and swans uh, this kind of beaks helps them to uh, allow helps them to flow out the mud and water through that holes that is called strainer then we learned about chisel shaped beak woodpecker has chisel shaped beak long and slender beak tapering at the end so thin at the end which helps them to make a hole in the tree trunk to make nest as well as to catch the small insects for them to eat woodpecker has this chisel shaped beak you can see the image of chisel shaped beak of a woodpecker here isn't it yes woodpecker has this chisel shaped beak next we learned about tweezer shaped beak tweezer shaped beak hoopers and warblers have teaser shaped beak it is also long and thin beak 
helps to pull the insect out from the holes in the ground. Uh, you can see the hoopoe bird being shown here in the image. It's a long and thin one. Helps to pull out the insects from the holes in the ground. Hoopoe bird beak. That is tweezer shaped we say. Next, peacock sparrows they have crackers type of beak. A kind of crackers types of beak. It's sh short but thick. Huh? Helps to break or uh, the nuts or seeds. Helps them to crush the seeds. Short and thick beak. And last one is prop shaped hummingbirds. They have a prop shaped beak. It's long and slender beak to suck the nectar from the flowers. A kind of sweet liquid. They suck, they suck those juice uh, from the flowers. For that they have prob type of beak. Slender beak we say. Long and slender beak. So these are the different types of beaks for these animals which helps them to break the food into small pieces to pull out the insects or to uh, tear the or to break the seeds and all whatever food they eat. Isn't it? Yes. Now beaks, multi-purpose tools. Birds use their beaks to do many things. To pick grains, to pick grains from the ground like whatever grains like rice, wheat, whatever they to pick it. They use beaks. Tear flesh, break the flesh into small pieces. Bite and feeding the young ones to uh, give food to the babies. They use beaks. To clean and smoothen the feathers. Birds use the beaks to clean the feathers. They have feathers to fly. Wings, isn't it? So to clean it, uh, to smoothen it. They use the beaks. This is called preening. Preening means birds, actually birds maintain good feather condition by preening we say. Preening. P-R-E-E-N-I-N-G. Preening means birds clean uh, and smoothen the feathers or they maintain good condition of their feather by using their beaks. It is called Preening, we say. Preening. P R E E N I N G. Preening. To make nest, birds carry materials that we know. To make nest, birds carry different materials like twigs, leaves, grass, threads, etc. So they carry materials like grass, twigs, and leaves in their beak. In their beak, they carry this to make the nest. They use these materials. To make a nest using the beak as a tool. We know woodpecker making hole in the tree trunk using the beak. Isn't it? So birds use beak not only to eat food. It has multi-purpose use. Different uses. Many uses. To pick out grains. To give food to the babies. To clean and smoothen the feathers. To make feathers in good condition. And also to make the nest. They collect some materials like leaves, twigs, grass to collect it. Collect, they will collect it and they carry it in the beaks to make the nest to feed the young ones. These are the uses of the beaks. So birds use beaks not only to eat food, to feed the young ones, to pick grains, to clean and smoothen the feathers, uh, to make the nest. So these are the different uses of the beaks of the birds. That's why it is called multi-purpose tool. Mm, beaks are known as this beaks. Beaks are known as beaks are known as what? Multi-purpose tool. Multi-purpose tool. Because it has not only one use, many uses. Huh? Not only two use, more use. So multi-purpose use for different uses, for different purpose they use these beaks. So that's why beaks are called multi-purpose tools. Okay.